world and all its treasures shall belong to me, Spydra, once I eliminate Gadget Boy! <laughs> Gadget Boy! He's so much smarter than the rest. Gadget Boy! Cause his gadgets work the best. He gets himself out of danger with some Shuttle's ready to hook up with the communication satellite. Got it! Good! Attach my amplifier and let Operation Obfuscation begin! Up for what? I think it's a province in Canada. Huh? And they say in space, no one can hear you huh? scream. Yo, 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 I got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, M, L, B, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and... Rapper Alpha B. Coming up next, heavy metal superstars. This lot of Pazooza concert is a lot of fun, Agent Heather. My favorite band is next, Gadget Boy. Should I get a black shirt or a white one? Are there any without that guy's face? Dweeb Mylar is the whole point of getting the shirt. Look! They're on! This group so popular. No, Gadget Boy. Something's wrong. These aren't their usual lyrics. It's, it's... Keep on stepping heel to toe. Change your partner and do see -si do A square dance? Funny, sure sounded like a recipe to me. Uh, Yee-haw! Spin your partner round and round. Grab her waist and lift her off the ground. And all this time, I thought you were a rock and roll fan. I had no idea you liked to line dance. You're the one who said Arrow Pits is your favorite band. The average yearly rainfall for Borneo is approximately... One, two, cha-cha-cha, three, four, cha-cha-cha. New Splurge Shampoo gets rid of dandruff ten different ways. <laughs> Was it something we said? No one can understand anyone else. Thanks to me, the world is in chaos! <laughs> Public gatherings? Transportation? And kick, turn, step, step! Kick, turn, step, step! The chicken special, please, without the skin. A side dish of steamed vegetables and make sure there's no butter! <laughs> Highways and byways? 
I am the Muffin Man. Do you want any muffins? I got puppies. Good dog! Oh, wait. Good dog! And a boy robot! Even armies! Here we go gathering nuts in May. Tra la 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 la. The stock market hasn't noticed yet, but it's only a matter of time. <laughs> I'm so good at being bad, sometimes I even scare myself. Not hard. Just look in the mirror and lift your sack. <gasps> Whoa! Appalling avian? Nothing, your web weaving wonderfulness. Nothing at all. Forrest, dear, it's about time we discussed your attitude problem. Fine. I don't care what happens. For once, I am telling you what I really think. Yes? Your. Your. Yes? You're the most beautiful woman in the world. No, no, the universe. I can't think of anyone but you. How sweet. Is that how you really feel about me, Boris? You're fabulous, enchanting, breathtaking. Oh! Ooh, I thought Ooh. so, you felonious feather duster. <laughs> Dr. Vocalese, you're a genius! Thanks to your babalizer ray, no matter what anyone wants to say, they have to say something else! Sathafrak, uh, it's Farragut. Eggplant. Uh, I mean, thank you. Sorry, my prototype is still falafel. I mean, faulty. Now will you let me go, please? Don't be absurd! With you in my power, no one on Earth can communicate! Unless they wear a special mind shield, like the one you've built into my lovely new digital sack. I've done everything you've asked. How can I break free of your electric socket? I mean, that's a I mean, web of evil! There's a very simple answer to that question, Doctor. You can't! <laughs> yogurt! Yogurt, yogurt, yogurt! I see. Whatever you say, Chief. Go, go, Gadget Boy on! Here you go, Chief. But I thought you just finished lunch. Is there something you're trying to tell me? Is it in code? <gasps> Humpty ah. Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Ah. All of the king's horses and... Oh! This is great fun, Chief, but shouldn't you be telling me about my mission? <laughs> huh? Oh. The hilarity never ends. But don't you think it's time we got back to work? They're trying, dear boy. But like everyone else on the planet, their neural pathways are scrambled. Amazing! What? That a dog can talk? No, that you can talk so much and say so little. Doesn't anyone around here make any sense? Pardon me. I'll try to lower my standards of speech to match your levels of comprehension. Just talk so I can understand you. Knowledge is power, G9. Try to get some. Saffron, curry, a uh, pepper, cinnamon. Agent Heather is explaining your assignment in pantomime so that she can tell you your mission. Right. She's playing charades. Hmm. Let's see. That looks like a normal human brain. And that looks like my super enhanced gadget boy brain. Huh? A picture of a cat. So, 
Uh, sorry. Ah, yes. A photo of a feline. That's cat to you, Ruby. Fire engine red. Spaghetti bolognese. Pastrami with the cheese. Ooh, Coco Van. I get it. Something scrambling your brains, but not mine. And since G9's brain is sort of like yours and sort of like mine, now he's just harder to understand. I'll just check the Chief's fax tie for our assignment. Battleize a raid causing world communication scramble. Spider suspected. This tie will self-destruct. Nice, kitty. Good dog. The chief fall down. Go boom. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> What's this? It says a picture dictionary. You mean this takes picture clues and makes them into words? Hmm. Ooh. Clever as always, Dabble. Now we just have to decide where to begin our search. Wall of Confusion, my favorite game show. I thought they were on vacation. Welcome to another episode of Wall of Confusion. Whoops. Today, we change the rules of the game. There'll be one contestant and only one winner, Spydra! <coughs> Thank you. I have kidnapped Dr. Vocalese, the world expert on speech and the human brain. His babalizer ray confuses the brain, so that no matter what you think, you say something else. Businesses will fail, people will starve, nations will crumble, chaos, my kind of fun, will reign! <laughs> Not if we can help it. Strawberry shortcake cream on top! I mean, porcupine. I mean, you're terrible. Don't do this. Sorry, Doctor, but the show must go on. Uh, hello, and welcome back to the thrilling conclusion of Spider's Wall of Confusion. Whoops! Rolf! We have two special surprise contestants today. You might say they're playing for their lives. I'll let my lovely assistant do the honors. Why, thank you. I know it's a good disguise, but I had no idea you thought I was so... Just push the button! I didn't say I like wearing high heels, just that they make my legs look prettier. Don't you think? You can't look menacing in pumps. Let me tell you something about the evil sidekick business. Oh, what's that? Close your yap and I'll tell you. No, I mean, what's that? There's a funny noise coming from the studio. Good thing I'm wearing great shoes from my last mission. Down it is. Go, go, get it for your legs. To admit, the lady makes a classy exit. Sure, with those shoes on, it's easy.
Not to mention their charm, grace, and style. Silence, you saccharine sycophant! If you can't say something nasty, don't say anything at all! Peter Piper, pick the pack of Buckle Dippers. Father Peter bought the pack of purple... <laughs> Can it! Gadget Boy is the only one capable of communicating clearly. He's the only one capable of ruining my plans! He must be eliminated! How poetic! <laughs> it must be a message left behind by Vocalese. Mix well before serving! I see. We have to figure out where these clues lead. Maybe the picture puzzler can decode them. <laughs> Just a moment, Agent Heather. I think I almost have it. Uh... <laughs> Sunday paper's never in the right spot. Wish I could train a dog to get it. I think I have it. These clues lead us to Chicago. First stop, Wrigley Field. Mm. Come on, Chief. Come on, Agent Heather. Evasive maneuvers, you see. In case we're being fogged. You mean, er, uh, by someone like them? Fasten your seatbelts. Time for evasive maneuvers. They're gaining! What's a nice kid like you doing in a place like this? I get it. Just starting to heat up. <laughs> She's new. She's improved. Introducing this year's Spydra. Brighter, bolder, and much better aim. It's important to keep up our strength. More nuts, more chocolate, the richest candy bar ever! I'd rather have a frankfurter. Hmm. I'll have the Zen veggie dog. Make me one with everything. Oh, my eyes! Your eyes? What about my <laughs> eyes? <laughs> okay. Oh, your eyes! She's not gonna like this. I'm not too thrilled either. You're a lousy dancer. Ow! Are you still wearing heels? Now, what is it you want? In the depths of your ignorance, what is it you want? Oh! Ooh. Now, where did that vendor go? Sowser, Bowser. Looks like I've spotted what I'm looking for after all. My weapon! You can't turn it against me!
for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. What did she say? Hmm. Hmm. I think she means, I'll get you if it's the last thing I ever do. I know just how she feels. So do I, Gadget the Boy. So do I. Mm. the finer things in life, G9. You're going to miss the best part. They're about to crank it up. <laughs> Hello, my adoring public. I am your new hero, Spydra. Welcome to all Spydra television. Don't adjust your set, folks. She really does have a bag on her head. <laughs> And a lovely bag it is. <laughs> Get ready for my life in review. G9, I'm trying to watch the show. You too can become one of Spider's minions. You know, G9, his fan used to look a lot different. Repellent, repugnant, reject? Almost there. Got it. Those were good times. <laughs> it's not fair. I'm missing my soap opera. All the TVs in the world are receiving only spider signal, Myron. But Lillian and Jeremy just recovered from amnesia. Go, go, get it, boy, popcorn popper. That, this is an important mission. Where are the new inventions? I can't work on anything. I'm worried about Jeremy's long-lost son, who's really Lillian's twin sister. Nom, 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 nom. I'll just have to send them to your mentor, Dr. Weisenheimer, oh. if you're not up to the job, devil. Oh. Just let me get this set, please. Mm. No more popcorn. Well, we're off to see Dr. Wassenheimer. <sighs> what? Like, babble? <laughs> Ten more years to retirement. I'll never make it. <sighs> Wait, 
Which room belongs to the famous inventor? I'll just ask. Knowledge is power. No help there. Let's try in here, Gadget Boy. Greetings, Dr. Weisenheimer. What can I do for you? Dr. Weisenheimer must be working on a device that throws his voice. Agents, Chief Stromboli sent us. If he's Weisenheimer, who's this? Former chief of Interpol, Stromboli's mentor. I am Dabble's mentor. That's why he sounds like me. Are you working on saving the world's TVs from Spider's control? No, I'm trying to get my VCR to stop blinking 12 o'clock. Chief Stromboli said you'd give us some helpful inventions for our mission. Inventions? Oh, oh, oh yes, of course, inventions. First, this looks like a remote control, yes? What is it really? Well, I guess it is a remote control, but a really good one. Not working. Probably low batteries. Then there's this horseshoe magnet. What does it do, Doctor? Attracts metal objects. What else would a magnet do? Come here, Poochie. You can wear this like a nice collar. Here is a metabolizer tracking device that will lead you to Spider's broadcast base. Why do they look like earmuffs and a wool hat, Doctor? Because it's always cold in this retirement home. Live here a week. You'll know. Stop fooling around, G9. You're bothering the former chief. Thanks a lot, Doctor. Ooh. Ow! If this is retirement, Ooh. I'll take war maneuvers. Ow! One moment, my adoring public. Patience, please. Boris, get that camera out of here. But people love behind the scenes. The making of the Spydra saga. Eh? No! That showbiz. Humus, that miniature meddling menace is on our trail. Stop him! Uh, I'm mulch. You're shot me if you fail! Uh, yes, I will, your maliciousness. I, I mean, I mean, no, I won't, your meanness. And now, back to our show! Roll it, Boris! Oh, What did I know is that? Boris! Don't get too close to the edge, Gadget Boy. Subway platforms can be dangerous. Don't worry, Agent Heather. Safety is my middle name. Or is it multi-directional hydro connector? <laughs> Agent Heather said don't get too close to the edge, G9. Pay attention. Go, go, Gadget Boy subway schedule. <laughs> Learning safety rules can save your life. After all, knowledge is power. G9. Have a nice day, friendly senior citizens. Next time, you get to wear the dress. We've got to find the transmitter and stop Spider from controlling the world's TV signals. G9, hang on to the handhold. Isn't it a little warm for a hat, Agent Heaven? According to Dr. Weisenheimer's tracking, the source of Spider's transmission is close by. to stay on the train until the next official stopping point? 
Spider will be impressed with how we beat the train to the next station. The tracking hat shows the signal is strongest that way. That's funny. Now it says the transmission is coming from there. It keeps moving, Agent Heather. Something's interfering with the metabolizer tracking hat. Like a magnet. G9, you need to stay clear of the tracking hat. Better do our part to clean up New York. According to the tracking hat, we should get back on the train. Hold it, nice train. Hey! Whoa. All of the day's work, Agent Heather. Not humans have failed. Use the transmitter to reroute the train. Yes, my matinee, I... This will be the end of the line for Gadget Boy. <laughs> Great. Now she's talking like a TV bad guy. You could always quit, Boris. What, and get out of show business? This is strange. It seems we've been switched to another track. We have to get off the train, Gadget Boy! It's going to crash! Don't worry, Gadget Boy is trained for all emergencies. And we have the most powerful remote control in the world. Well, it was worth a try. We have to get off the train, Gadget Boy! It's going to crash! Hold on, everyone. We're going out one at a time in an orderly pack. More time, G9, quick! <laughs> the trucking hat says the transmitter is almost directly huh? above us. <laughs> now, where'd that dog go? Let, yes, you have another plan. A ticker tape parade down Wall Street in my honor, with everyone's favorite hero as Grand Marshal. Well, I'll have to check my calendar. <laughs> I'm talking about me, you inept, ineffectual imbecile! Roll the film! Sorry, your teeny bopper goddessness. Silence, you silly sophomoric simp! This could be my date! <laughs> what do you mean my date can't make it to the prom? Turn to stone? Hmm, I see. Well, that could happen to anyone. Bye! I take you, Boris, but you haven't finished my homework yet! Have a nice oof. I didn't know it snowed in New York in July. That's not snow, Gadget Boy. That's how they honor important celebrities. Wonder who they're honoring. Maybe it's me. Though that's not a very good likeness. I'm not nearly that tall. That's not you, Gadget Boy. That's Spydra. It's a parade celebrating her evil. Worse than that, Agent Heather. These people are litter bugs. Go, go! Gadget Boy Leaf Blower! It's my civic duty to clean up the city. Now, that's what I call a snowman. We'll never get through at this rate. You can chase cars later, G9. How big is this transmitter, Agent Heather? It'd have to be the size of a building. A skyscraper. You're right. It's the Empire State Building. I know it's the Empire State Building, but this is no time for sightseeing, Agent Heather. I mean, the Empire State Building is Spider's transmitter. Go, go, Gadget Boy binoculars. That 
that's funny. It just looks like a building to me. According to my calculations, if we angle G9's magnet just right, ah! the magnetic field should zero in on the magnetic signal from the antenna and pull us... Whoa! Whoa! The transmitter! We found it! Hmm. Here she is! to receive the award for the most vile, vain villainous in history. Oh, thank you, thank you. You shouldn't have. But you said I was fish food if I didn't. <gasps> Here she is, the most vile, vain villainous on the stage at the moment. In fact, the only... <laughs> What's going on? You'll ruin my big moment! Ah! Gadget Boy, be careful of the electricity! I can't hear you with all this electricity, Agent Heather. I'll put on earmuffs to cut the noise. Be careful with those, too! The metabolizer has some strange features! Turn Gadget Boy, Mulch, and Humus into electrical TV impulses. Mm -hmm. And transmitted them into the TV signal, disrupting Spider's broadcast. If I can change polarity on this magnet and interpolate the. Tough break for Pecos Larry. He did not stay on for that mandatory eight seconds. It takes one tough hombre to ride a kind of bull. Hmm. That concludes our competition on International Sports Roundup. Wait, there's another competitor, Kid Gadget Boy. Here he goes. Yeah! <laughs> a new champion, Kid Gadget Boy. And somebody better get a stretcher for those rodeo clowns. <laughs> Boys popping up on TV shows. How did you develop your amazing three day diet plan? My assistants will demonstrate. Go, go, Gadget Boy Turtle. <laughs> Mulch and Humus are in the shows too. And now for the weather with Ted, uh, uh, whoever you are. The Gadget Weather Forecast for today is rain. Later, it'll be turning to ice. <sighs> They're bouncing all over the airwaves. I've got to get them out, G9. <sighs> We're experiencing technical difficulties, folks. Oh. Just present the award, you foolishly fickle fowl! Got it! To sign off. Huh? Oof. That's showbiz. Not exactly what it was supposed to do. Help! Yeah, help! Can't have you crashing into innocent bystanders on the sidewalk below. 
What a dummy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, G9. I don't know how you did it, but you returned the TV to the world. Now the airwaves are safe once again for family viewing. And no more spider TV. That's true, except Boris has developed quite a following. No, I'm not really interested in a TV series. Uh, I'm thinking more along the lines of a feature. And that's how it was today on All Gadget Boy TV. Easy pickings, much. Something we can sink our teeth in. <laughs> Is that? Not on Earth, Captain. In the ocean. What was your first clue, lad? Go see what it was! We're being attacked by a shark, Captain. And a thirsty shark, lad? He's draining our oil tanks dry! This is the fifth oil tanker attack that drained in a week. According to this fax, the latest attack was made by a submarine that looks like a shark. Sounds like Spydra. And everyone needs oil. Bowsers! Bowsers! We better keep this information top secret! Precisely. If a spider hijacks enough super tank royal shipments, she'll hold the world to ransom. This is our assignment. To stop a spider's oil stealing operation. This operation is so important, I'm personally going to go with you. Uh, Chief? Agent ahead, please. You know I don't like to be interrupted, huh? Now, where was I? Almost in the shredder, Chief! More time, G9! Emergency procedure 12B! That sounds like a plan, Heather. We're on our way, Chief. Go, go, Gadget Boy Lakes! Gadget Boy, wait up! First, we have to see Dabble's special... Whoa! <laughs> And I insisted on going along. Mulch the Spider on the Sea Complex. We're on final approach. Splendid! The oil you siphoned is safely stored in the tanks. You may duck. And your face is safely stored in a sack. What did you say? Uh, 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 you're smart as a tack. That's it, a tack. You do have a point! <laughs> we have liftoff. We have liftoff of the Morris One spacecraft. Ow! <laughs> the eagle has landed. Or should I say, the vulture has landed. Success! My shark sub has surfaced! At least I'm not totally surrounded by subsimian, simple minded, sloth like sycophants! Aye, aye! Whatever you just said, ma'am. Ow! Aye, aye! Don't say a word! In order to assist in your mission, and uh, to match your eyes, Agent Hazel, I've created three fantastic inventions. First, dehydrated scuba equipment. All it needs is one drop of liquid. Go, go, Gadget Boy Water Blaster! No, Gadget Boy, not now! <laughs> Invention seems to work. Right, Chief? Next, a heat seeking mini harpoon propelled by a micro jet engine. <laughs> Easy, G9. That's not an aluminum bone. Oh, such reflexes, such decisiveness, such command, Agent Ezra. 
dabble. We are running out of time. Oh, sorry. And finally, for the piece de resistance, the Mimicron. Activate the Mimicron, and it will mimic whatever G9 morphs into, taking on the exact same shape. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry, the Mimicron may look like you and morph like you, but there's only one real G9. Uh, Gadget Boy, that's the real G9. Hmm. Of course. Knowledge is power, Agent Heather. Soon I'll have control of so much oil, the world will beg me for it. Back to work, you gluttonous, grubby, galley grunt! Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, aye, aye, Mon Capitan S. Some 1040 weight snack for my little pet. Before long, I'll rule the planet! There really are aliens up there. Abduct me. I heard that, you worthless waste of wings! Ah. Heard what? All I said was a... Uh... Uh, oh, what's the use? I'll do it for you. Oh, oh, you Go ahead! I'll get you on your way back! Excuse me, your maliciousness. The radar says there's a ship approaching on the surface. It's a baby yacht. I didn't think you'd be interested in a baby yacht. Think? You think, Mulch? How many times have I told you? Yeah. I do the thinking! Now think about that! No amount of oil is too small to steal! Take the shark sub and drain every drop! But, but Mulch is the only one who knows how to drive the sub! You're not Mulch? Um, no. Then go get him, you mindless meat-headed minion! We'll use my lovely yacht as our base, traveling undercover as a sports fishing party. I love fishing. Here I go. Gadget the boy, that's my lucky fishing hat. Wait, you should catch a lucky fish. Uh, reports indicate the oil tanker robberies occurred in these waters. Uh. Spider's shark submarine is somewhere nearby. I hope so, because I've got a quite a surprise planned. A surprise? I knew it. We're not on a mission. This is really a fishing trip. No, Gadget Boy. You see, a spider is a stealing all the... All the fish. It's a fishing contest. It's a, not the fish he's a stealing. The shark submarine's on my sonar, Chief. Then they took my bait. See, Chief? Your lucky hat is working. We can catch bigger fish than Spydra. Yes, the tire. I'll toss it back so it's tugboat mommy won't miss it. No, catch it, the boy. <laughs> Morph time, G9. Counterattack the shark submarine. We're closing in on the yacht, your evil ship. But the radar says there's something coming toward us. Blast it out of the water! Bowsers, <laughs> 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 Bowsers. 
There's a huge fish coming after us. If we catch that one, we'll win. No, Gadget Boy. It's the shark submarine Spider's been using to guzzle oil. First she steals the fish, and then she feeds them oil? Spider's a bad person. If we can catch a fish that big, we'll win. Go, go, Gadget Boy Sharkly. I hear sharks can get in. Most meanness. We are under attack. But it can't be. The shark sub's got us on visual. And that poor little tugboat is headed right in its path. What can you, Inky Squiggler, give? I can't see. Somebody cleaned out the lights. The bionic rat and his bungling buddies have battered my beautiful It's a sinking! Your sputtering spitefulness, they're sinking! Who says bad villains can't have good luck? <laughs> Finish them off! gonna turn my beautiful yacht to flotsam. Don't worry, Chief. We'll catch the shark, save your yacht, and win the contest. It's not a shark. It's a not the contest. And it's... It's time to use the Mimicron. It can morph into a swordfish like G9 and attack the shark sub. That might be easier than a net. Brilliant! Do you always do things like this when I'm not with you? <laughs> not always. Sometimes we do even better. Go, go, Gadget Boy Mimicron! Trouble, old nasty one. There's a metal swordfish heading straight for us. <laughs> the last desperate act of a somberly sinking ship. They're done for, and I can't risk damaging the shark sub. Return to base! We're on our way. Lucky us. Uh, take the bus. I said, uh, we'll take the bus. You're telling me we're stuck watching a circling metal swordfish while we sink? With all due respect, you've got a lot to learn about the love between a boy and his dog. He knows, Gadget Boy. Hey. He knows. Never believe it. It's a boy and his dog thing, Chief. <laughs> I've called the Coast Guard and empty oil tankers. We can catch the sharks up if we hurry. And just how do you propose to follow them underwater, Agent Heather? Dehydrated scuba equipment. Oh, uh, precisely. Uh. Scuba diving. Sousers, bowsers. We're sure to win the fishing contest now. I applaud your confidence, Agent Henry, but we are a long way from getting that oil back from a spider. The shark sub's close enough. Myron's heat-seeking mini harpoon should be able to find it. Hang on tight. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Morph time, G9. We need you underwater with us. Zap! 
got company much. They hooked us with a harpoon and now they're getting a free ride. No fair! I'll give them a free ride. I'll give them their last ride. <laughs> this big fish is putting up quite a fight. Ow! In the belly of the shark. Now we've really got the inside track on the fishing contest. They're on to us. You mean someone else got inside the shark first? Call me old fashioned, but this is a man's work. Huh? Great! We'll do better if we work as a team. This team's gonna make Spider's day. <laughs> I hate to ask, but what are we laughing about? They've captured Gadget Boy and Chief Stromboli! Ah! You've got the attention span of a bird! What do you expect? I am a bird. Then fly, my feathered feather fowl! Fly! I'm getting the feeling something's wrong with this fishing contest. Taken prisoner, handcuffed, and are about to be handed over to Spy. Her piece, our head hat, is somewhere on the bottom of the ocean. Why did I insist on the coming? Who could resist a fishing contest? We're getting near base, you must check for water leakage. Hmm. How did this get off? If I were you, I'd spend my time figuring out how to explain to Spydra how you got locked inside. I don't believe it. I live to see the day when Mulch and Humus did something right. I don't think I can take it. Huh? Be still my heart! It took you long enough. Watch out, Chief! He's attacking! Hey, Humus, what are you doing? You're not supposed to... You don't look like Humus. You smell better than humus. My bet is you're not humus. <gasps> We're never going to win the fishing contest if we hang around these pipes. As you can see, we have complete refining facilities here for all the oil my shark sub has taken. The contest's not over until the long fish saves. What? Knowledge is power. Once the world agrees to pay my oil price, they'll pull up to the pipes and fill up like a gas station. What is that? You never should have tried to steal the biggest fish. G9 doesn't like cheaters. What?
some serious fishing. Seems a shame to leave all this behind you, bag lady ship. Controlling the world's oil would be pleasant, but it would be nothing 